Welcome back, Tater Tuds, to my channel for another new episode of our Solar System Legacy Challenge, Generation 4, Mars. This is episode 16. It is Monday morning, literally 5 a.m., and neither Mason or Yutaka could sleep. So, yeah, and for some reason, Mason has woken up this morning crying, and I heard music, and it says, Very sad loss in the family from losing a sibling. And I don't understand why it's saying that because Mason doesn't have a sibling. He is an only child, so I feel like my game must be glitching because he has no sibling. And I literally checked. I like went through our family tree. I checked our friends and like Uncle Evan is still alive. Eli is still alive. Like everyone that we know is still alive. And for some reason though, Vance is showing not as a ghost, but it's not like you can click on him or anything. Like here it's showing him as a ghost, but in here it's not. So I don't really know what is going on and did I just hear a bunch of farting oh my gosh Yutaka he is like dropping a hard deuce in the bathroom <laughs> I just heard all this weird growling in my ear and my headphones that is hilarious okay anyways so hopefully Eli won't be too or not oh my gosh not Eli <laughs> Mason won't be too devastated by this non-existent loss but anyways today is Monday so it is officially Yutaka's birthday and the day that he is going to move out so Yutaka does have work and I believe, let me see, Yutaka and him are up for promotions today. So it looks like Yutaka gets home a little bit earlier. And so what time does Mason go to work? He doesn't go in until 10, which is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and have him bake a cake. That way we have it ready for when Yutaka gets home. So let's see, what kind of cake would Yutaka get? I feel like we should get something like, I don't know, we'll just different cookie I really need to like download more cake options <laughs> it's like CC so um, we'll just do a hamburger cake for him I just feel like that would be suitable because Yutaka does grill quite a bit so I just think that that would be good so okay after we get that taken care of we will get them because Yutaka does go to work here soon and we'll hopefully get both of them promotions which would be a fantastic way to end you know with Yutaka becoming an adult and then with him moving out so oh my goodness and so Mason he's kind of happy to have this little distraction they did have their um, spooky fest party in the last episode if you guys missed it you should definitely check it out because my favorite thing of the entire party was the fact that Field <laughs> showed up as a pirate I love him so much he is so funny and cute and oh I'm on oh, I was really confused I was like wait I thought that Mason and Deborah were like macking on each other oh my gosh what was happening did you guys see that that like freaked me out so he does have amazing compatibility here with deborah which is really interesting and they have the sentiment friends in a time of loss mason has formed a bond with deborah the kind that can only come from the profound grief of death and so i feel like part of him is only feeling that way because of how um they just bonded over that and so I feel like because of that like you know when you have like an emotional breakdown it makes you like a lot more vulnerable and so I feel like that's where he's he's feeling a little guilty because I don't think he like he thinks she's really attractive but I just I can't see them being together like I feel like she seems like a little too serious for him and kind of like stern if that's the right word I'm looking for and so I'm really really hoping that we can get things figured out and that he doesn't just like have like use her you know I don't think he wants to use her that's not what he's like at all but you know he's just he's got to be careful with this relationship but he's liking that it's a distraction for him and helping him to kind of just you know do his thing and he does want to help her like he doesn't want anyone to suffer or feel sad or have a loss in their family he knows what that's like and ah uh, there's just so many emotions into it so anyways i'm gonna get them off to work and i will see you guys this evening Yutaka is at work and we got under pressure. Yutaka's new project is already falling behind schedule. Does he insist that everyone work late or try to persuade his boss that he needs more time? I think he would try to 
argue for more, t more time because he doesn't want to make anyone have to work too many hours. Says, ha, 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 more time. That's hilarious. Yutaka's boss thanks him for a good laugh and dismisses him. Well, here's hoping the dev team likes pizza every night for the next eight weeks. So he got a small performance lost. And it looks like we just got our bills delivered. And for some reason, okay, Mason is um, having his hair color change or his hairstyle change. Like, do you guys see this? His hair is like, it switched to like this textured hair, which is not what he looks like at all. So I'm not sure what is going on there, but there seems to be some glitch that keeps changing people's hair lately. Like when I've been going into my game, at least one character's hair will just change. Like the color will change or the whole hairstyle will change. And, but then when you go in to create a sim, it will actually be the exact same. So I don't know what is going on. So Yutaka did get home and unfortunately he didn't get that promotion because of that situation at work, which, you know, it's totally fine. It's, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great. But we're gonna get him ready for his party. I did schedule the party for seven o'clock tonight since Mason doesn't get home until six and he was able to make some food for the party as well before he left for work. It looks like Yutaka is already helping himself to the sweet and sour pork that Mason made. It is one of his favorite things ever. And so, yeah, Mason wanted to make sure he could make it for Yutaka because, you know, it's our boy's last day here with us. But don't worry, guys. We're still going to see him again. He's not going to disappear forever. But Mason should be coming home any moment. So let's get that promotion. We got this. Come on. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, promoted to artisan of apparatuses. So let's see what it says here. So he will now make an additional 115 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 336 per hour. My gosh. He has also received the following bonuses, exo, mech suit, and 2200 simoleons. And his next shift is Tuesday at 11 a.m. So he works 11 to 6. So that's like one hour less than he normally does. So that is awesome. And okay, we got some kind of robo mech suit. Is that mechanism? Yeah. Um... What is this? What is this? How do we, do we just like have that on us? Like for anything? I don't know. But we're gonna have Mason. Looks like he's getting himself some to eat too already. They just could not hold up and wait for the rest of the party to show up. But let's go ahead and get him out of these clothes. Um, let's see, I bet you, oh my gosh, that's not what I meant to click on. Dresser, yes. His hair's gonna, oh my gosh, look, his hair looks normal now. Whew. Okay, okay, maybe we'll be okay. Um, what should I put him in? I feel like I just love this button up on him. I just think he looks so handsome. Look at our boy. I love him so much. <gasps> oh, Mason, you're my favorite. He might actually, other than Maria, of course, I think he might be my favorite generation. Like, I don't know why. Like, I just love Mason so much. Like, he's so kind hearted and sweet, but. And like he's he's had a little bit of difficulty, you know, with the way his family is. But I love that he got to know his great grandmother a bit. And Melly, what are you wanting to tell me? I'm delighted you recommended I spend some time with Takuya Watanabe. I was amused the entire time. Well, good for you. Our party is going to be starting any second now. Yutaka, get off the computer and come in here and hang. Let's start this party. We're gonna have a good old time. Let's get everyone. Field, of course, is gonna be coming over as well as June. Look, there's Field. Boy, why are you blushing? <gasps> field, did you run into somebody that you have a crush on? Come here, come here, we want the tea. Tell us. He's going straight to Utaka. He's like, dude, your room smells like an old sock. What did you do in here? He's like, well, I just farted at my computer, the usual. But anyways, oh, or are you blushing because of Mason's second cousin once removed or whatever she is. I mean, look at her, Cecilia. Ooh, girl, you be looking so cute because Field himself is actually already an adult, which I didn't realize that. But, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at Mason. He's just like in here hanging out by himself watching the TV. Oh, look at his eyes though. Like, I just think he has really beautiful eyes. He's really, really handsome and cute. Like, I love this hairstyle on him. Oh, there is Jacqueline, our other cousin. Here is June. And so he is here. Jun, however you want to say his name. 
Um, but yeah, it looks like, oh, he's going to take a nap because he is feeling exhausted. But where is everybody else? I mean, I'm glad they're all coming in here automatically to talk with Yutaka, his cousins. No, Yutaka a bit. And so, yeah, Jacqueline, she looks so cute in this outfit. I really like that. Oh, oh Field. Field, are you chatting up with our cuz? Ooh, Field. Look, he's taking a picture of her. Boy, I know they say take a picture because it lasts longer, but did you ask? Did you just straight take a picture? Look, Yutaka was like, there are way too many people in my room socializing. Like, he can't handle that much socializing. He's kind of a loner to an extent. So he's like, I'm going to go into Mason's room and hang out while everybody else does their thing. So anyways, I guess because it's already late, we'll just go ahead and have Yutaka come in here. Oh, look, that's our, that is Mason's exact cousin, Precious. So his uncle evan and aunt jamie they had a daughter together and her name is precious so yeah this is precious charm his actual actual first cousin so anyways let's go ahead and get yutaka out here let's have him make a wish and mason come on you need to wake up for your friend and oh there is saya looking at her, look at herself feeling all hot you know she's just doing her thing and here's yutaka he's making that oh deborah got here too Oh, there he goes, blowing out the candles. Happy birthday, Yutaka. We are so happy and thrilled for you. Oh my goodness, look at you, so cute. He's like, I got this, I got this. Even though I'm getting older, it ain't gonna make any difference to my dance moves. But yeah, here is Deborah. look how cute she looks. Dang, girl, you be looking real classy, but you be looking sad at the same time. So uh, come out here and greet her. Let's call her over because, you know, we do need to check on her. See how she's doing. Girl, where'd you just pull like a peanut butter or sorry, a ham and cheese sandwich out of nowhere? Like for real. So he has called her over. Oh, she's feeling sick again still. She still hasn't gotten to where she's feeling better. Let's come over here and let's see if we can just give her an embrace. Um, Cause he just wants to make sure she's okay. He's like, "Hey, you uh, doing okay after the party and everything last night?" She's like, "Yeah, I'm sorry about you, Taka, but it's so good to see you." He's like, "Yeah, you know, I'll have this place to myself soon if you want to come and hang out." And she's like, "You know, I think I'd like that." So, all right, and dang, precious, you got you got some hairs up on your back. Anyways, what is fizzling? I hear something sizzling. Is our fridge bro oh my gosh of course our fridge is broken oh anyways so they're just gonna have a good time hanging out catching up with each other seeing how everyone's doing oh my gosh look at mason <gasps> what are you doing what are you two doing what are you two doing tell me they are just flirting it up look at them and then she just pulls out a tablet <laughs> i love how cecilia literally just walked right in the middle she's like um excuse me oh sorry were you guys trying to flirt my bad my bad but i think we'll have him um i just want him to do something really cute uh let's just have them oh no we're not gonna have them woohoo right now <laughs> sheer deeply personal thoughts probably not have him do a suave kiss because he's feeling a little confident he wants to kind of woo her he's like you look really beautiful and, oh my gosh field what just happened to your hair we all know that that is not what field's hair see guys what i mean people's hair is just changing i don't know what's going on if it's one of my mods in here i did just put slice of life back in maybe i'll have to take that one out to see if it's causing the hair changes but is anyone else's game doing this please let me know because I need to know. I mean, I'd rather it be Field than um, our boy, because, you know, we play with him all the time. But, I mean, you look cute with that hairstyle too, Field, but I like your long hair. It's, that just suits you more. It's just what we're used to. Look at all the girls coming in here to chat. And, oh my gosh, honey, like, you are, you're having a really hard time with those chopsticks. Look, she's embarrassed. She's like, did anybody see that? It went right down into my cleavage. Oh my gosh. And the twins over here, they are so cute. Oh gosh. And Saya, she's like, oh my gosh. So you guys are Mason's cousins and you're twins. OMG. Have you guys played tricks on people? She wants the tea. And look, Deborah had to come over here to eat with Mason because she was feeling too uncomfortable with all the girls. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's let's try to cheer her up a little bit. Can you uh can you uh flirt a little bit or something? Just give her a 
uh, let, let's compliment her appearance. Let her know she does look good. We like this dress. We like this outfit on her. So things are all good. There's nothing for her to worry about. Let's see if we can give her, so there's an amorous hug, gaze and eyes, a flirt joke. Let's just do, ooh, an irresistible wink. Uh, leap into arms. No, stroke, tre stroke cheeks. Um, oh, no, Mason's going to go to bed because he's tired. And Yutaka, boy, you are just killing our computer over here. <laughs> okay. I think on that note, this party should come to an end because it's almost midnight anyways. And this girl, she just seems so uncomfortable. Yeah, it looks like she's probably going to head out. So on that note, guys, I'm so glad that we were able to have Yutaka's birthday day and so I am gonna have to get him moved out and into his own apartment and so yeah guys I will see you tomorrow happy Tuesday morning everyone Yutaka is officially moved out so Mason is just spending his first morning here just alone he's actually kind of enjoying the peace and quiet and I did rearrange his furniture a little bit so he has just his bed here and he even has picture of his great grandmother Maria and then his dad Van or his grandfather Vance charm when he was younger and then we've got a picture of him and Saya from when they were hanging out just because you know I want to get a picture with him and each of his friends so we need to get one with Utaka and field that way we can put it on the wall and then here he has like in Utaka's old room like his all the electronical stuff so like doing his robotic station and his computer which of course is broken so we'll go ahead and replace that we'll replace this I hear the festival t-shirts are out of this world let's go to the festival and buy one we totally would Utaka, but we have to go to work here soon. And it looks like we have a mouse going around. And so, yeah, Mason does have, oh my gosh, what is up with your hair? His hair changed again. What are you doing? And I think I might have figured out what it is. Um, it's like over here at this the mirror, you can um, have more choices under this beauty and they can change their hairstyle so like when I remove his hairstyle the styling like he'll um, go back to his normal hair so yeah I think it is definitely the slice of life mod Mason is home and he brought home like 2300 simoleons which is absolutely insane but I'm gonna have him go ahead and take a shower just to relax a bit and I think I think that there is the um I think the GeekCon is here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, GeekCon Show Festival. Oh, okay. It hasn't started yet. So it goes, wait, Tuesday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. No, it's over. Uh, I feel like I always miss that festival, which really, really sucks. So anyways, we'll go ahead and get his needs taken care of. And maybe... I think he's going to invite Deborah over tonight to just hang out, see if she's eaten anything. Maybe he can make her some dinner. So as soon as he gets out of the shower here, let's have him um, invite her to hang out at the current lot. And okay, look, see now his hair went back to normal now that he took a shower. So it's kind of weird that his hair just does that. That's kind of annoying. Like I'm going to have to see if we can make adjustments to that so it's not so like constant you know what I mean so let's cook her something a little romantic let's see what's something good for a date um, we don't want anything too like difficult garden salad <laughs> a guy just invites you over to eat salad probably let's not do that um, chips and salsa uh, we'll just do some pan fried tilapia so let's have him do that and we'll go ahead and get him to take a picture with her and because you know regardless if these relationships end up being anything like he really values his friendships and he wants them oh my gosh girl like why you why you uh rubbing your hands together like that oh my gosh she is always sick like come get her to come over and join you for cooking she's like hey how are you doing and oh she likes his tricks apparently she's like that's impressive he's like oh thanks I uh I learned it from my dad he's a pretty good cook but my my great grandma she was like the best of everyone and then she taught my grandfather my grandfather taught my dad and you know so on so people in this family they're always pretty decent cooks and what is she doing in here she's styling her hair again she looks like she's had a pretty bad day at work so 
Hopefully this will help to uh, cheer her up a bit, but Mason is feeling really good from great tunes. He's listening to good music. He's feeling good. He's feeling energized. So let's call to the meal, see if we can get her to come on over. He's like, come on in, Deborah. I finished making the food. And like, plus, okay, guys, I'll just be honest. I feel like the name Deborah is just, I don't know many people today that are named Deborah that are like my age, like younger. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know it's just it's just an interesting name to me but I feel like it's someone that would work I feel like a, the people that are named Deborah usually work in like HR or something like that <laughs> but not that there's anything wrong with that and but look they are smiling at each other he's enjoying talking boy we are not going to talk about marriage with her <laughs> let's not do that so let's just flirt with her for a minute um and let's see we're going to ask her about should we whisper seductively let's go ahead and do that let's just see how she handles it like he's feeling a bit flirty he wants to see if they can you know set the mood well let's change the station we're gonna do some romance music and can we like slow dance with her <gasps> slow dance together with deborah i just want to see she did like the the whispering seductively in her ear so oh oh mason are they gonna actually do it okay guys i am back so i had to put this on pause for just a second so let me pause it before we go any further real quick because i don't want to miss anything but just so you guys know my poor little cat has like not been able to go to the bathroom like to urinate and so i had to drop him off at the vet a few days ago and he's been back home for the last couple of days but then he still wasn't like he's not peeing still very much and so i dropped him back off today this afternoon so the vet had just called me to let me know what the game plan is so we've got another anti-inflammatory thing that we're gonna try because it does look a little better but just not like fantastic and what's going on out here why are y'all slow dancing out here <laughs> mason you're supposed to be inside where it's romantic. I love how his neighbor is just like literally sitting here smiling. He's like, oh, young love. What a beautiful thing. So, okay. Well, that went well. And boy, stop trying to cry, okay? I want you to come over here and like, I want this to get like romantic. Can you call her in here? Go here, Mason. Bring her back in here with you because we need her. Oh my gosh. Why are we all glitching? <laughs> We need her to come hang out with us so that we're not making out in the hallway. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Let's go. Um, can you get her physical intimacy? Mason is too sad to do this. Stop being so sad, Mason. We don't have time for this. <laughs> anyways while we try to get this figured out um yeah so my cat he's acting normal and everything but we're hoping that he will be okay he didn't have any little crystals or anything in his bladder so he seems to hopefully be slowly getting healed it's just taking a bit longer than we thought but yeah also this morning right before i left for work minutes before i left for work i heard this crash and this huge sound and i ran into my son's room hoping that like the bookshelf or some furniture or something didn't fall on him and he was fine and instead i realized it was my cat and he had jumped up on top of this thing above the toilet and there's a picture up there and he knocked the picture off and glass just shattered everywhere across my bathroom which was whew, it was a lot <laughs> but anyways okay she finally came in here so physical intimacy go dip kiss her we're gonna try to set the mood because guys i'm thinking he's going to like honestly let's get this done boy Let's do a frenzied kiss. I don't remember what this is because it's the Maple Bell mod, more kisses. So I want to see this happen. Oh, 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 there's, that's cute. I love how <laughs> they're kissing and he's still got, look guys, he still has tears streaming out of his eye. Oh, Mason, Mason. Oh my goodness. He is, he's getting into it. But you know, our poor boy, he's got some needs. He's got some needs. So we're gonna have them. Oh my gosh, you can't woohoo. Okay, pillow fight with her. Cheer up, have a pillow fight. 
<laughs> like, I want him to be happy. How long is this going to last for? Five hours? Boy, we ain't got time for you to be this sad for five hours. My gosh. But yeah, he's like, let's have a pillow fight. She's like, you don't mind if my heels are on your bed? He's like, of course not. So look at them. There they go. And he's just enjoying that. He can just have someone over and he doesn't have to worry about you talking or feeling awkward about like having a girl over and things like that. So okay so they are feeling playful tender kiss mason is feeling lightheaded and giddy after that tender romantic kiss with his sweetheart Ooh. okay we're gonna woohoo with her but not try for a baby you better not get anyone pregnant oh and deborah just became good friends with him so it does seem like he's really cheered her up dang she wound that up did you guys see that you better watch out mason i think she straight won that one but okay Let's see if they're going to do it or not. He's like, so, you know, I'd really like to go a little bit further with you. And they're both feeling needy. He's feeling sad. She's had a loss. Apparently he thinks he's had a loss. <laughs> he thinks he's lost a sibling that doesn't exist. And so, oh, he just learned her woohoo interests. So there they go. Oh, dang, girl. Dang, girl. She came ready. She came prepped. So, all right, they are getting their woohoo on. He is feeling good, feeling fierce and strong. And of course, he's also getting sick. Boiling bother. Oh, Mason is burning out the thermostat. Thermometer is tipping the scales. Ther Wait, is he sick? from the weather why is he hot mason rides out this feverish roller coaster but it says that it's okay maybe he does have a fever i don't know okay anyways so they're having a good time i'm gonna turn this off because it is getting late and our neighbors are gonna get really mad here in a minute if i don't but yeah it looks like they had a great session he is feeling affectionate which is really cute Aww. and he's gonna go out here and view the posters look at her no you need to come over here and be romantic give her an electrified kiss like you guys are still feeling the mood he's gonna be a little frisky with her since they just had some fun and all look at them oh oh is that literally <laughs> electrified kiss i didn't think it meant it literally but it is the sims game so i should know better <laughs> but she's like oh my gosh Mason <laughs> stop it but they are feeling so flirty girl and you just pulled out a lump of clay out of nowhere and of course something has just broken so Mason's gonna come out here to repair it because oh they're doing a shy kiss oh 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 what's going on with your arm boy you slapping her in the forehead <laughs> what was that I don't even know I shouldn't ask questions anymore but hopefully since our boy is a level 10 handing a skill, yep, look at that. He fixed that with no problem, no sweat. All right, we're going to go ahead and send her on home. He's like, <laughs> look how he just like shoot her. He's like, get out now. Thanks. I got what I needed, which is awful. Okay, Mason, just go to bed. Good morning, everyone. Mason has had a busy morning because there were roaches and a mouse. And Deborah literally just called him and asked him if she could come on over. And she wants to take things to the next level. Will Mason be her boyfriend? <gasps> I've never had this pop up where the other Sim just asks, is this from Slice of Life? <gasps> oh, wow. She's so forward. Mason's just like, I think he's kind of shocked, <laughs> kind of on the spot. So he's going to just say, of course. And so she's feeling kind of like, oh my goodness. Oh, look, she is so excited about it. And Mason, oh my gosh, he got like dizzy and lightheaded because of that situation. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny. Oh, he does not know how to feel about this. Like he's getting sick. Granted, she was sick too. But I think like he's just like he doesn't know what to do like I think this is really his well I mean him and Danica technically were boyfriend and girlfriend but Deborah's like his second one. Oh my gosh and then they're just gonna start slow dancing I guess that's one way to celebrate with her Aww. so they seem to be having a good time together but Mason is about to head off to work but it's so funny that she literally came over just before <laughs> 
he left for work just to ask him that. And look, nothing tying me down. There's nothing like a sweet smell of independence after a nice long sleep. Mason loves waking up single, but then it has a new relationship is a happy event in any sim's life, but Mason can't help but wonder if that means he'll have less time for himself. So I think he's a little bit worried just because things are going really well with his career. And while he's really happy to spend time with Deborah, he's also... I feel like he still just doesn't quite know how to feel about her. You know what I mean? Like, he he does care about her, but it's still like, it's just a lot at the same time. And so he's he's got a lot of mixed emotions about this whole situation, but he is about to go to work anyway, so she's going to have to leave. What is this chat? She's coming here. She's like, I hope you have a good day at work, honey. I can't wait to see you later. And he's like, oh, oh. Are you coming over? So it seems kind of like she's like inviting herself over constantly and she might be really clingy. So we're going to have to find out. Mason is home from work and literally Deborah left, left not too long ago and she left him this cake. So <laughs> he, he thinks it's sweet, you know, that she wants to, you know, help him and like leave goodies for him, but it does still freak him out some. And what is this? Where's the stink coming from? What's going on here? There's a weird funk. I don't like this. Attempt to repair. And it looks like, oh my gosh, we've got bugs again. Oh, this apartment's kind of annoying. We're going to have to move eventually because I can't put up with this. Yeah, unsettled by odor. Uh, did we get rid of the... Okay, please, I hope it works. Okay, it looks like the odor is gone. So he's feeling good from that. But I do want him to work on his robotic skill and oh look june's calling hey mason london sigworth has asked me out on a date shot he's like yeah dude go for it like take advantage of that like if someone's trying to ask you out why not make make the most of it you know and are the bugs gonna go away okay they did all right so let's resume our quadcopter here it looks like oh what's that hey i got a special gift oh yutaka oh yutaka is back yes invite him in come on he is like your best friend like you've got to let him know he's like dude i have something to tell you he's like what he's like deborah asked me to be her boyfriend and i didn't really know what to say he's like well how do you feel about her he's like well you know i She's really pretty and everything, and I'd be lying if I told you I didn't enjoy the woohoo we had the other night. He's like, dude, too many details. Don't tell me. Because, you know, Yutaka really doesn't care. Oh my gosh, he gave us a violin. <laughs> that's so Yutaka. He gives us something, like, really classical. Oh, that's hilarious. But that's really nice. Our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Can I move in with you? Oh, dude, like, you just moved out. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of this. We're just going to say, I don't think that's a good idea. After much deliberation, Mason doesn't want Yutaka to move in with him right now. I hope that doesn't, like, disappoint, like, Yutaka and, like, hurt their friendship at all. But, look, ask Deborah about her day. He is wanting to see her. But Yutaka's just like, man, it sounds like you got yourself in a pickle with a, you know, speaking of pickles, someone's wearing green. <laughs> that was lame. I know. Don't, don't tell me. Don't remind me. <laughs> but... Let's see, we can craft, can we craft any Utila bots yet? Like a cleaner bot? No, I'm still missing parts. Of course I am, of course I am. Okay, engineer, investigate equipment failures, practice welding techniques. Sure, does that work on his robotics skill at all? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, engineer, let's scrap this craft and let's just tinker at the robotic station because we're so close to getting that skill point up. But oh my gosh, are we gonna have that glitch where everybody just starts making cakes again when they come over? I hope not. Oh my gosh, Utaka did make us a cake. He made a chocolate cake, I think. Oh, sugar-free carob coconut cake. Oh gosh, we're got, we've got that glitch back, guys. It's official. Yutaka has left for the evening, and so Mason is just making himself a late dinner of some avocado kale salad. I don't know, oh, why? Dude, like finish what you were doing. Like what is going on? Oh my gosh. These glitches with cooking are going to be so annoying. But hopefully, okay, there he goes. So he did finish, I think. Oh my gosh, why is he chopping it up again? It was already on the stove. Oh dear. Okay. Well, anyways, so tomorrow is 
um, oh, it is Thursday. So with it being Thursday, I think that we're getting really close to getting him his next promotion as soon as I can get his robotic skill up. So, and we did get his construct mechanism thing complete. So yeah, we're, we're really, really close guys. Oh my gosh, Mason just maxed out the cooking skill. I didn't even know that he was that far along, but well, lo and behold, that makes sense. I mean, the Charm family, like I said earlier, when he was cooking for Deborah, they all seem to be really good chefs. Like they just pass that on to each other. And I think that that's really cute. And it's just like a really wholesome thing. And so look at him in his little outfit. He's so cute, but he does have the day off tomorrow. Actually, he has the next two days off. So I think that's plenty of time for us to get those skills up. But anyways, I think this episode's gone on for the time that I want it to. Oh my gosh, of course he put this out here. And we've got pipes that are dripping, so I'll have to take care of that. But anyways, whew, guys, some things happened in this episode, right? We had Yutaka's birthday, and then Yutaka moved out, which I will be getting Yutaka's apartment all set up. So we'll definitely go and visit him probably in the next episode. And then him and Deborah, or not Yutaka and Deborah, but Mason and Deborah. Oh, look at his eyes, poor thing. They, oh, there's a big rat. <laughs> him and Deborah woohooed for the first time. And then she came over that morning, the next morning, to ask him to be her boyfriend. So, whoo, this boy. He's got a lot on his plate right now, and I don't think he really knows how to feel about it. And you know, that's okay. That's okay. Relationships and the stresses of life, it's its a lot. And you know, we make mistakes and we do things and we're just gonna have to see what happens and see if maybe they will work well together. I'm not quite sure. I just, I just have a hard time seeing them officially like ever tie the knot, you know? Like, I just don't see her as his type quite, you know? But it's okay, anyways. So. Thank you so much, Tater Tots, for joining me on this episode. If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the future episodes. And don't forget to hit that like button and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I will catch you next time. See ya. Please fill my cup. Am I really asking for much? It's been a long week. I'm looking for fun. Please fill my cup. Find me under the sun. SOS. I'm just looking for a good time. Whoa, whoa. Singing like, whoa.